Hi students, in this video, we will see variable transconductance technique. So, in the variable transconductance technique, that is analog multiplier. So, what is analog multiplier? Analog multiplier is output voltage or current directly proportional to the product of two or more independent input voltages or current. That is output voltage is directly proportional to two input voltages product of the input voltages okay so here variable transconductance pathi paakaporam so in the variable transconductance la vandha main part yaar nu paathinga na differential amplifier adavadhu symmetrical differential amplifier symmetrical differential amplifier na meaning enna nama eduthirukra transistor differential amplifier na nama rendu transistor use pannuvom so here q1 and q2 this is the differential amplifier circuit in the q1 and q2 oda characteristics paathinga na similar ah irukum so that is symmetric Symmetrical differential amplifier. So, this is the variable transconductance main part. So, we are using one emitter current bias. So, that is dependence of the transistor transconductance on the emitter current bias. So, this is the variable transconductance technique so na already sonne q1 and q2 vandu pathinga na differential amplifier that is symmetrical differential amplifier so ipo nama vandu for very small values of differential amplifier input voltages vandu v1 vandu very small input voltage kudukrom adavadhu evlo small voltage kudukrom na v1 oda value vandu nammoda voltage temperature that is vt oda very less ah irukra maadhiri input voltage kudukrom Okay, yeah. So, here we are applying very small input voltage V1. So, this is V1. So, we have normal way to know that analog multiplier na output voltage is directly proportional to V1, product of V1 and V2. So, in the V1 voltage, we have a differential amplifier. Then, V2, we have transconductance kudukka emitter by current bias circuit. Kudukrom. So, this is the another input V2. So, V2 is R equal across. So, this is the emitter current flow kudye, circuit. La, we are using one Q3 transistor. So, now we have output voltage in the output So, that is product of two input voltage in the okay, yeah. So, first we have V0 value calculate. Rao. So, V0 is the V0. Correct. So, V0 is the Q1, Q2 transistor is symmetrical transistor. So, we have normal transistor equal uh, circuit. Correct. So, here GM input voltage so input voltage is v1 so here in the load resistance any one of the transistor consider panna podum because both transistor vandu symmetrical so rl idu da vandu pathinga na output circuit diagram correct ah equivalent circuit idu vandu input voltage v1 irukum so ipo idil irundha nama output v0 calc v0 vandu voltage drop across rl so v0 calculate panna enna varum so v0 is equal to gm v1 into rl i into r correct ah v equal to i into r gm v1 into rl so v0 is equal to gm v1 into rl gm na namakku theriyum enna the transconductance so gm is equal to transconductance what is transconductance transconductance na output current divided by input voltage that is the relation between output current and the input voltage so circuit la nama output current ic dane appdin pathinga na normal la namakku theriyum ic that is approximate equal to ie base current normal la pathinga na very small ah irukum so normal la ic current no ie current no namakku similar ah irukum so ic equal to ie appo nama enna podalam output current ie divided by vt in potukalam so next in the gm value we substitute panla. that is v0 is equal to ie vt into rl v1 Purida. so in the gm ipa edha depend mani irukku emitter current depend mani irukku correct transconductance gm vandu depends upon the emitter current so that is controlled by the second voltage v2 in the emitter current edha ala control agudhu so here we are applying v2 voltage Apo emitter current is controlled by the Second voltage V2 that is the Q3 transistor. Chariya. So, V2 is the output 
V2 means that is voltage drop across R, RE. Apo V equal to I into R. Apo V2 is equal to N varo, IE into RE. So V2 is equal to IE into RE. This is the IE calculate pannu na V2 divided by RE in varo. So in the value we are going to substitute in V0. Apo V0 la substitute pannu na varo, V0 is equal to V2 divided by RE VT into RL V1. So, either rearrange pani na, V2 V1 in the na, apa RL divided by RE VT into V1 V2 in varong, correct? Ta? So, this is the scalar factor at the current, that is proportionality constant, that is K. So, either one K, K equal to another RL divided by RE into VT. So, K into V1 V2. What is K? K is equal to RL divided by RE into VT. So, if we the output voltage, we can see that we can see that is the product of two input voltage. What is analog multiplier? That is the product output voltage is equal to product of two input voltage. So, we can see analog multiplier the variable transconductance. So, this is some disadvantage. So, in the scale factor, that is the K value. Temperature dependent. Apa temperature of the K value namak enaha viper very aha viper. That is RL divided by RE into V T. Correct temperature dependent. Apa namak enahona very aho. Total current IE when the varies as the function of voltage V2. So a function V2 or a function depend money IE current enaho. Very ago. So, in this order, drawbacks eliminate panda the gana mena use panona Gilbert cell multiplier circuit on the use panu. Okay, Purida. So, is the one variable transconductance. So, the Madri Ella topics on the Thorandu Parker the channel subscribe panda.